Just wait till you late, mate, to eat. Archie the man just speaking. Duffy ain't here. Hello, Duffy. Huh? The crowd here? It's a pretty horrible-looking ensemble. Huh? Yeah, I think Eddie must have stood out in the gutter and swept in. Well, you know who's coming here tonight, Duffy? Dinah Shore. Yeah, the female chanteuse. Huh? What? Well, all I can say is if Crosby had a shape like that, he wouldn't have to worry about Sinatra. Huh? No, she ain't a soprano. She's a sort of a, a mezzo-barracuda. Yeah, yeah, down in the, uh, down in Nashville, down in the south, you know, where she comes from, they call her the mezzo-bell. No, Duffy, not matzo ball. <laughs> Metzabelle. Yeah, she's uh, going to sing a song that I'm writing. Uh, I call it, uh, Leave Us Face It, We're in Love. <laughs> Hello? He hung up. Eddie, uh... Yeah, yeah, so Mr. Uh, I got to finish this song of mine. What's the word for when uh, two people's in love, you know, and then they die, and then they're in love again in another life, and then they die, and then they're in love again? Same two people? Yeah. Monotony. <laughs> Oh, Eddie, wait a minute. Sound it's on the tip of my tongue. Rian, uh... I can't. Reincarcerated. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, now, uh, Eddie, what uh, rhymes with eyes? Eyes? You mean like eyes of blue or eyes regusted? <laughs> oh, regular eyes. You know, the optional ones. Oh, eyes. Eyes. Flies, flies, dies, fries, dies, sighs, skies, flies. Eddie, if it's as easy as that, you'd be a songwriter, too. You a songwriter. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, when you hit Donna Shaw, sing me song. Then I'll uh, get Fink Crosby to plug it, and Kate Smith, and Fred Allen. No, no, not him. No. Uh, Frank Sinatra, Ginny Sims, Dennis Day. Eddie Green. Eddie Green. You'll plug it? Sure. By that time, I'll be singing at the Metropolitan Opera House. <laughs> and them big shots ain't gonna ruin their program singing your songs. They ain't, huh? What are you bet? I bet you a week's tip. Okay, it's a bet. Okay. Here's my dime. <laughs> Where's yours? All right, here's mine. Now, I'll plug this song, and I'll start with Dinah Shore. Maybe your stop, it'll be her finish. <laughs> How are you going to be able to get her to do it? Very simply, Eddie. Personal magnetism. <laughs> I just say, Dinah, lift your lovely voice in song while I put my arms around you and kiss you and caress you. Oh, well, if you're going to threaten her. <laughs> Look, Eddie, stop trying to re-welch on me. Now, <clears throat> let's finish the song. Let's see. What, uh, what rhymes with quirk? Uh, uh hello. <laughs> Finnegan? Uh, what you doing? I'm writing a song. Writing a song? Anything I know? <laughs> no, Finnegan. This is an original song. It has never been wrote before. Uh, that's pretty dumb. Writing a song that nobody knows. As long as you're writing a song, why don't you write an old favorite? Like Chloe. <laughs> but Finnegan, if it's an old favorite, it means that somebody has already wrote it. Then write an old favorite that nobody wrote yet. <laughs> Uh, what's the name of your song? I call it, uh, Leave Us Face It, We're in Love. Oh, who's in love? Me and Dinah Shaw. Uh, that's a bum title. I got a better one. The Dinah, is there anyone finer in the state of Carolina? <laughs> but Finnegan, that's owned by another songwriter. Then change Carolina to Oklahoma. <laughs> but Oklahoma don't rhyme with Dinah. To make a margin. Oh, yes, Miss Duffy. Uh, do you think that Dinah Shaw sings better than me? Miss <laughs> Duffy, she sings better than you with both vocal cords tied behind her back. <laughs> if you think Dinah sings better than me, why don't you go to work for her father? Her father ain't got a Dinah. <laughs> Now, please, Miss Duffy, leave me alone, will you? Miss Archie, Miss Archie. What's the matter, Eddie? Now, something terrible has happened. What? Somebody won on the pinball machine. <laughs> oh, 
Holy cat, who was it? Mr. Moriarty. What was the score? Four million, three million, seven hundred and fifty thousand. Did the blue lights go on? Yeah. The red lights? Yeah. The bell ring? Yeah. American flag come in? Yeah. Looks like he made it all right. <laughs> Look here. What do we do? Well, what else can we do? I'll go over and pay him his nickel. <laughs> yeah, better go and check up on, mach- on that machine. You know, it's the second time it's been hit this year. I'll be right back, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, uh, what do you think of Dinah Shore singing? Mighty fine. What do you think of my singing? Mighty fine. Well, who do you think is better? Mighty fine. <laughs> Leave us, Grayson. We're in... I should have wrote it in a lower octave. Uh... <laughs> Leave... No, the first one was right. Uh... Leave us, Grayson. Dodger, there's a lady over there looking for a package. Where? Eddie, that ain't no lady. That's Joan Davis. <laughs> Miss Davis, I understand you're looking for a package? Oh, well, yes, I am. <laughs> Say, you're pretty cute. Blue eyes, curly hair, and where'd you get them muscles? Where did you get yours? <laughs> I asked you first. Hmm. Uh, about this package. Oh, uh... yes, uh, it's very important. Oh, uh, what's in it? I don't know. Who gave it to you? I'm not sure. Well, what does it look like? I don't know. Now we're really getting somewhere. (laughs) You are sure that it is a package? Oh, yes, it's a very important package. Well, why is it important? I don't know. (laughs) I bet you I know what's in a package. What? A (laughs) straitjacket. Oh, no, I got one of those. (laughs) Oh, well, wear it in good health. Well, thank you. Uh, say, uh, by the way, uh, what are you doing later? How would you like to take me home? I thought you came here looking for a package. Well, I haven't found it yet, and why should I go home empty-handed? <laughs> well, Miss Davis, exclude me out. <laughs> I ain't no package. Well, you could be if you were tied together better. Hi, Art. Who's the cute thing? Uh, hi, lady, you're pretty. Brother, you're crazy. Yeah, could be. Okay, Miss Davis, well, look for your package now. In the meantime, why don't you go in that booth over there and sit down, huh? Well, I don't want to sit all alone. What do you mean, all alone? There's seven sailors in that booth. For me, that's alone. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and look for this package, huh? Oh, I can't tomorrow. I'm looking for it on Eddie Cantor's program. Oh, well, then there's only one other way out. What's that? The back door. Come on, Davis. <clears throat> right back, Eddie. Boy, this place is so full of radio stars that John is really jumping tonight. What do you mean, Eddie? Well, there goes Davis through the old back door and in through the front comes Donna Shaw. <laughs> Sure. Welcome to Duffy's, Miss Shore. Thank you, but it's uh, Mrs. Montgomery, if you please. Oh, yeah, you just got married. Uh huh. Likewise, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Archie will be back in a minute, Dinah. And uh, guess what? He don't know you're married. Well, that's funny. It was in most of the papers. Was it printed in the racing results? <laughs> Who do you think I married? Bing Crosby? <laughs> Anyways, tell me, Dinah, does it bother you being married to a movie actor? What do you mean? Well, being a movie actor, your husband has kissed so many other women before you. Miss Duffy, uh, maneuvers have never spoiled a battle. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Duffy, have you ever thought about getting married? Ever since the age of nine. Not that I haven't had chances. Oh, goodness. The brilliant, talented men I could have had. Battleship painters. Vacuum cleaner salesmen. (laughs) Wealthy sand hogs. (laughs) But I just couldn't give up my career. What is your career? 
I sing. <laughs> oh. Well, it was very courageous of you to give up all those men for your singing. They insisted on it. <laughs> you see, uh, my singing teacher... Oh, who is your singing teacher? Yasha Panyaslavnik. The Thank you. Hello, Dinah. Oh, hello, Artie. Well, Dinah, I'm glad to see you again. What's new? New? Well, I've got myself a new roommate. Oh, that's fine. Nice? <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that's fine. Nice. The girl has a nice roommate, you know. Wearing each other's clothes. <laughs> taking turns, making the beds. Going Dutch on the rent. And... Smoking each other's pipes. Hmm. Must be very good tobacco. You ain't looked lovely in a long time. <laughs> uh, well, Dinah, enough of this shop talk. How's about uh, rendering us with a number? Okay, Arch, I'll render you with no love, no nothing. It's one of the big current hits. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, there may be another one out soon that's even the current to hit. Uh, oh? I'll talk to you about it later. Paul, uh, wake up the Philharmonic up at Dinah, huh? No love, no nothing Till my baby comes home no, sir, no nothing Long as baby must roam I promised him I'd wait for him Till even hate is true I'm lonesome, heaven knows But what I said still That's a promise I keep No fun with no one Getting plenty of sleep My heart's on track And though it's like an empty honeycomb No love, no sun, no nothing to my face That's a promise I'll keep No fun With no one Getting plenty of sleep My heart's on track And though it's like An empty Really wonderful, oh, you know. Thank you. It was on key all the way. <laughs> you were uh, saying that in a B clef octave, didn't you? You know, uh, two quarter notes with the umlaut. Uh, you see, my song, on the other hand, is written in... Uh... Your song? You seem astounded. <laughs> of course, my song. Well, I had no idea you were so musical, Archie. Musical? Mercy me. <laughs> I played the piano when I was three years old. Three years old? It was a little piano. What they call a pianissimo. <laughs> so you were a child progeny, huh? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it was a curse, you know. Day after day, my father used to say to me, Archie, why don't you go out and play baseball with the other boys, you know? And I'd say, no, Dad, I have to go upstairs and practice my chamber music. <laughs> Day and night I practiced until, uh, finally they sent me to the observatory. Archie, 
Archie, Archie, which keeper did you study under? Uh, they call them maestros. Oh. <laughs> it's a very conservatory observatory. Uh, anyways, that's where I studied the old masters, you know. I loved them. Chachikovich. And, uh, David Boosie, uh, Pukini, Batch, uh, Tchaikovsky. Archie, that's Tchaikovsky. So I mispronounced one of them. Uh, yeah, and that diner is the background that produced this. Oh, is this a song? Mm. Let's see. Leave us face it, we're in love. Lyrics, words, and melody by Archie. <laughs> you wrote the words, too. Well, the words is easy. All you got to do is make them rhyme, you know. It's a knack. Uh, say something, anything. <laughs> Radiator. Hot tomato. <laughs> You're fantastic. Gastric. <laughs> Go ahead, hit me again. Sweet Lilani. Hot pastrami. <laughs> over there in the corner looking over me song. Well, I suppose she don't like it. If she don't like it, then, uh, like I said before, I'll call on me personal magnetism. No, uh, th 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 this Miss Shaw, may may maybe she's uh, married or something. Don't be silly. How can she be married? I ain't even asked her yet. <laughs> you let me handle this, Eddie. You want <clears throat> Dinah? Oh, yes, Archie. Uh, Dinah, did you look over the song? Yes. You carried away with emotion, huh? Yes, the kind of emotion I feel on the ocean. <laughs> well, okay. Dinah, dear, look at me. There's no magnetism coming up on the outside. <laughs> look, Dinah, don't sing this song for just plain Archie, but for the Archie whose feet you have swept off. <laughs> Dinah, here you are living alone with your roommate. An empty life. Well, with me... Uh, just a second, Archie. Is this a proposal? It could be construed. <laughs> My roommate would pin back your ears. Listen, the dame don't live that I can't lick. <laughs> Come on, Dinah, sing it, huh? Archie, I'm afraid I don't know it. Archie, I can't sing it. I, you see, uh, it's, a, it's not in the right... Uh, I, 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 mm, well, but... uh, don't sing it, then, <laughs> We'll just have the band play it, and you'll just accompany the band. Uh, Paul, trumpets, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Dinah Show will now sing me own original composition, Leave Us Face It, We're in Love. I stand in good old Duffy's Where the alleys meet to eat Me red corpse suckles racing 
I'll wait for you, my sweet. In my hand is a diamond unfurled. We should holler it out to the world. Leave us no longer pretend that you are merely a friend. For it is rose in the stars above. Oh, we have tried to act cold. Suddenly low and get home. Leave us faces. We're in love. Leave us not blush with no shame. If people bandage our name, shoes and old rights are worth three. Stories like in our two eyes could win the food seller prize. Leave us faces. We're in love. Somehow I know many ages ago. Now thine love is mine, just as mine love for thine has been reincarnated. So I plight my troth at your feet. Don't leave me life incomplete. I'm like a turtle with eyes. To be here, no, 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 perish for being. Leave us there. Take it over, you know. Uh, take it home and uh, show it to your roommate. He won't like it. He. <laughs> you mean that? Uh... Archie, I am Mrs. George Montgomery. How do you do, Mrs. Montgomery? <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Hello. The package. Oh, hello, Joan. Listen, Joan. Uh, how would you like to sing a song of mine? What? What am I doing Wednesday night? Nothing. Brother, what you got to do to get a song plugged? <laughs> what? The, how does it go? Well, it's... Uh, leave us no longer prepare. <clears throat> I better whistle it. Before we leave Duffy's, leave us put a couple of nickels in Duffy's jukebox. The plat is spinning, the needle comes down, it's music.
you want to, you can rhyme me with bazooka. But you can't poo-poo-padooka. That's another name for paradise. Padooka, padooka. Just a funny little city in Kentucky. But to me, it rhymes with lucky when I'm looking into two blue eyes. Two love time. They get excited over two love time. And I'm delighted over two love time. Because I happen to love a ranch and a paducha. If you wanna, you could rhyme it with paducha. But you can't poo poo paducha. That's another name for paradise. This broadcast is a presentation of the Armed Forces Radio Service.